Hi everybody, welcome to Sunday Evening Created 8. I hope that you find this easily tonight because I have a really fun project that I'd like to share with you. Come on in and say hello, make yourself at home. I'm going to pull it up on my computer. Let's see. There we go. Hi Deb. There we go. All right. Hey Shelly, good to see you sweetie. All right, um, tonight I'm gonna do a fun 3D card, gift card holder type uh, project. Um, and I am using tonight, I'm using on page 39, I'm using the Tropical Oasis Suite. So we're gonna be making a card with an envelope tonight and it's actually a card and or a gift card holder. Okay, Tropical Oasis. So I had a hard time just choosing one, um, pattern from the Tropical Oasis. If you have seen the paper in person, you know how gorgeous it is. Um, hi, Kathy. Um, I, this was the one I was drawn to first. Uh, I just love this. I think it's so pretty. Flowers and flamingos. And then on the back, there are other patterns. Pineapples. A little pool party. Little... Oh, I don't know, what's that called? Burlap, it looks like burlap to me, and palm trees. All right, so I had to pick just one, and I actually took one for the team because it took me a while to figure this one out. <laughs> Mostly because I wanted to make an envelope to go with it. So we're gonna put together a little uh, gift card holder for a guy. Hi, Nancy. We're gonna put together a gift card holder, and this is a tropical oasis with a little bit of old olive right here in the middle. Just saw mom log on. I shouldn't say old Olive. Sorry, mom. <laughs> My mom's name is Olive. All right, so all you're gonna do to open it is you will hold the collar, pop this up, and it folds out. And here's a little greeting, another sensational year of you. And then down here it says happy birthday. But the cool part is you can slide this out and put a gift card right here and just slide it back in so it can hold a gift card for you. If you don't wanna put a gift card, you could always just adhere this down and write a little message, but it is so much fun. And I know um, the person who's gonna be getting one of these very soon is gonna love it because he wears a lot of Hawaiian shirts. And who would that be? <laughs> My son-in-law, Sam. So um, now that I've figured it out, I'm gonna be making some more. Um, and then, this was an odd sized card once I was done, so I needed to make an envelope, which turns out was really easy. Um, this card, I needed an envelope that would fit five and a half by five and a half, so kind of an odd, odd size. So I pulled out that paper that I really loved, with all the little beach, beach wagons on it, <laughs> and made an envelope like so. And it just goes right down in here and fits perfectly like so. There you have it. Voila. Okay, so you're going to learn how to make both tonight. They're, neither one of them is hard. So we're going to start with our um, Hawaiian shirt. I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. Like I said, one of the hardest parts to get started is deciding what pattern to use. But I'd like to use this flamingo. I'm hoping this Thing on my camera is going to work. The flamingo. So to start with the um, shirt, you're going to need a piece of designer paper that measures 6 by 12. So let's go to the 6 inch. No, I'm sorry. 6 by 10 and a half. So 6 by 10 and a half. The worst thing that can happen is I mess it up. <laughs> That's all. So I'm just going to Hold my breath and hope it works. So six by 10 and a half. Aren't they cute? Just love them. Okay, so on the um, short side, we're going to start scoring, but you wanna make sure that you do not push too hard on, um, on the scoring blade because it will tear through the designer paper. So on this side, the portrait side, we're gonna score this at one and a half. One and a half, and then again at four and a half, right there, 
like that. Gotcha so far? All right, now I'm gonna turn it for the landscape side. I mean, yeah, landscape side. And I'm gonna score it at four and three fourths and at nine and seven eighths. And I'll type up these measurements for the shirt for you. I did for the envelope, but I need to do the ones for the shirt. So nine and seven eighths. Actually, I should have done that the other way. Let's use this side because this is right. The nine and seven eighths is going to be the end that makes the collar. So I want to make sure that I have it. Um, I want to make sure I have it going the right direction and the flamingos weren't if I had kept it that way. All right, so let's do this. So let's um, go ahead and fold on our score lines. Oops, I forgot to score it down the middle. Score it down the middle first, too. Three inches. Three inches down the middle. That's kind of important. All right. So we'll take it and we will fold it on that three inch score line. Bring it up on the folder. Give it a score. Brush that nicely. Then I'm going to bring in the sides into the middle so they meet that line. So I'm just going to bring that in right there to the middle. Score it. Like so. And we will do it again on this side. There we go. Yeah, my hands are shaking tonight. Whew. I haven't had that in a while. There we go. So we fold it on in the middle, and then we folded the middle ones in just like that. Okay? You with me? Oh, Tony, you're going to love this one. Millie, this is so cool, isn't it? Tony, you're going to love this one. All right, so I have my 9 and 7 eighths little piece up here. So I'm going to um, turn this over so that the 9 and 7 eighths is at the bottom down here, okay? I'm going to fold it up. I'm going to give it a good burnish with the bone folder because I want to make all my creases really nice and crisp because this is not held together with adhesive. You're just using um, the folds to hold it together. All right, so I have the 9 and um, 7 eighths piece folded up. Now I'm going to turn it over again. So that is up here at the top. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to turn it sideways like this. And I want to measure, I want to measure two inches down, okay? So we're going to turn this, and I'm going to measure two inches down and just make a little mark there just for me. It didn't, when I was watch tons of videos so I could learn how to do them. It did not, nobody said to mark it, but it just helped me a lot to have a spot to go from. So we're gonna go two inches down and make a little, little mark there. Do the same thing on the other side. I don't have to have everything totally perfectly even. I'm just not that worried about it, but this, I needed a, a, at least something to, to uh, go from. So I'm gonna start on that little two inch mark and I'm gonna bring this in and I'm just gonna kind of hold it there at the two inch till I get this one done over here. I'm not gonna crease it all the way, I'm gonna wait. So I'm gonna move this one over. There is my little mark. Do that there. Now, this is just my guide to show me where the top part like under his armpits basically is going to be so I'm going to keep that there but I want to bring this in and I'm kind of just playing around with the collar so that I can get it in and get the points to match in the middle doesn't matter shoot hang on my paper is so wonky there we go I'm going to bring that in so it's coming to the middle there okay like that there's the first part of the collar. And now we'll do the other one. And I want to keep that from that fold. So I'm going to fold it up and bring that one in to a point. Like so. Like that. Okay. So we have those two already done. Okay. So now we are going to um, come down to the bottom. And I'm going to, again, this is just me. I'm going to measure three inches up 
from the bottom here in the middle because I need a starting place to um, start my next, oops, my next fold. And this just really helped me have a good, um, a good starting point, I guess, that's just it. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna use that and I'm going to take my paper from this corner to this mark right here and I'm going to fold it. And I'll tell you one thing that helped a lot with for me. I took a ruler and I put it there on that mark and I put it down at the corner and brought this up and just gave it a little crease by itself. So it, I had a guideline there, just made it a lot smoother, a lot more of a sure thing, if you know what I mean. There we go, like that. All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Put that there. Put this down here, bring it up, like so. Give me a good good place to start and then fold it on over. Somebody on our team recently was talking and asked me if I could make one of these. I'm like, well, I haven't in a very long time. I did them for Father's Day a long time ago, but I haven't done them lately. All right, so once we have this done, all right, you're going to fold <laughs> you're going to fold up and you're going to tuck underneath the collar. Well, if my hands weren't shaking, it would really help a lot, like a lot, a lot. Come on. There we go. So you see how the points are going to match up over here for his shoulders. Like so. Give that a good crease. Everything is nice and folded. Give this guy a little more love over here. Like so. Okie doke. So that's the basic shirt. So what I did for mine, bring this one back in. I just brought in, like I said, a piece of cardstock and the colors that coordinated with this, one of them was Old Olive. So I pulled that in there and um, I just cut a strip that is a half an inch half an inch? No, it was three eighths of an inch. And that's what trimmers are for. Let's see. Three eighths. All right, there, there, good, good. So far, so good. I just need to cut off a little bit on the bottom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some adhesive on my little um, strip. And I'm going to start up at the underneath the collar, bring it down towards the bottom, kind of center it like so. And then I'll bring in my snips and snip it off because apparently that's what I need to do tonight. <laughs> My brain is not on tonight, sorry. Like so, okay? So there we have it. Really, really cool shirt with the buttons and everything on top. Now, if you look on here, this is a three by three inch piece of Whisper White cardstock. For the three by three, I just cut a couple of co coordinating strips, which is just easy on this because it's the back of the des designer paper. So I'm gonna, um, I used that on there just for a little color and stamped my sentiment. And then for this particular piece that you pull out, it's big enough to put a um, glue dot on here and put your, um, put a gift card in there if you'd like. So this one measures, four and a quarter by two and seven eighths. So two and seven eighths by four and a quarter. Making myself nervous, there we go. And that just slips right in the pocket, like so. Just slip that right in there. Then you just close it up, tuck it up under there, like so. And there you have it. Voila. Love it. Okay. Now let's make an envelope. Pray for me that this works. <laughs> it took me a little while. I couldn't get my head around it for some reason. Oops. Sorry there, bud. So let's see. I made the car one before. I think I'm going to make 
Let's see, let's do, 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 do. Let's use the same paper and do the outside. Oh, that would be cool. Okay, sorry, talking to myself. So we're gonna do, oh, I didn't turn the light off on you guys tonight, I'm sorry. Alexa, turn off the track lights. Sorry, it's much easier okay. for you guys to see when I do. Sorry about that. Alexa, mute. Okay, so now she'll just shut up. All right, so you're gonna need a piece of designer series paper that's six and a half by 12. And you wanna make sure if it's directional, that the direction is up and down. For this one, it really doesn't matter. So this one's gonna be six and a half by 12. And I'm gonna use the blue side, so I don't really, I don't really mind like that. Okay, now with the um, paper and the paper trimmer, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna slide this over to six inches. Basically what I want is a half inch piece on both of the long sides. So again, I'm not pushing very hard, just I can feel it, but I don't wanna to push too hard and cut it. So I'm just gonna turn it around and do it on this side because it's easier to get that smaller um, increment over here on this side. So I'm gonna do half, in whoop, move my hand, a half inch over here. There we go. All right, half inch, half inch. Now, if this were directional, I guess we can call this up. We'll call this up. Um, I'm gonna score the long edge and I'm going to score it at, wait a minute. Oh, that's right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna score this at one and six. So the top of my paper that I want to have at the top of the envelope, so my flap is right here. So I'm gonna score that at one. Then I'm gonna take it down and I'm gonna score it at six. Now, for directional paper, one thing is whatever your flap is, it's going to be upside down, like on here. See? See how the back is upside down? You can't get around it if the front one is up the right side up, okay? So there I have the top, and then this one over here. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to... Put it back in my trimmer and I'm gonna go over to that half inch. Now, I wanted to score it first because I wanted to have um, the reference point once I trim off the little tabs. So I did I did mean to do that. So, so it's scored there on a half. Now, I'm going to go up to the top of my trimmer and I'm gonna look at the numbers on the right side over here and I'm gonna bring it down to one inch right where that little mark is there for the one, it matches that little mark in the middle of my blade. So one inch there, I'm gonna bring it back down to the bottom because it's easier to do that way and I'm gonna go up to six and a half. So I bring this up to six and a half. Okay, doke, there we have it. I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna do the same thing. Go over on a half inch, go to the top and bring it down to one inch pick it up and go to the bottom and bring it up to six and a half, like so. All right, turn it to the blue side because it's easier for you guys to see. So here are my little side pieces. I should have done it this way first. These are my little side pieces. This is gonna be my flap here at the top and this is the bottom of the envelope. This is gonna come right up underneath to that score line, like so. All right, now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna cut off a couple of tabs. So for this one, with the tab, with the top of your envelope to the left, I'm gonna go in on that score line here in the middle and I will trim that off. And I'm gonna do a little wedge and then I'm gonna do the same thing up here. So there's the score line, and I'm gonna go ahead and just do the wedge at the same time like that. Okay, there's one side. So let's bring it to the other side. Oh man, I got a dimensional stuck to me or something. And I'm gonna do the same thing. That top tab goes away, and that first uh, long tab is gonna get a little wedge there. Same thing on the bottom. Let me see if you can see it better this way. I'm gonna go in 
and do the little wedge. The score line was right here. Okay, so there's that. All right, my phone looks like it's not working. I don't know why. I hope you can still hear me. <laughs> All right, so we have those pieces. I'm going to bring in my um, corner rounder and I'm going to round the corners of my envelope. Just like the finished, the way that adds a little finish to it. I'm going to fold in my sides so that it'll go in the paper trimmer pretty pretty flat and easy. Put it in there and punch. Turn it over and do it again. Like so. Then we're just going to add a little bit of tear and tape. Oh, there it is. Tear and tape. Down the edges. Another one over here. This is an easy peasy envelope. It's awesome. You can do them in any size. I just measured what I needed and kept it just, uh, I did it on my grid paper. I laid it out, so that was cool. So we'll pull up these little backings with our take your pick tool. And then I'll turn it around and fold it over with those tabs on the inside, like so. And oops, I forgot. I wanna bring in my one and a half inch circle punch. You can use whatever size you want, but I wanted to make a little, a little divot here so you could see part of the card out of there, like that. Ooh, look how pretty that is. And then my little card fits in there just right, like so. I have to smush that down a little. Anyway, it fits perfectly and I can then adhere it and I could mail it if I wanted to with this. I just have to have some extra postage, but this is totally mailable or if you're not gonna be taking it to a party. But again, it's the cutest thing for a guy, I think. It's a gift card holder or a card. How can you beat that? I'll open it up again for those who just got here. Um, little gift card spot down here, little greeting right here. Happy, happy birthday. So my son-in-law is going to be so happy. He loves gift cards. All right. So that's what I have for you tonight. Don't forget um, the spring retreat has posted and we are already half full. And I've heard from a lot of people whose names aren't on that list yet. It's here in Manassas. It's April 24th through 26th, and spots are limited. We're only going to take 24 people because you get a lot of space to work, and I don't want you guys jammed in there. So check my um, events, and check. I posted it actually here on the page. Check it out. It's the garden party retreat, so you're going to love it. We have so many fun things planned already. I can't wait. Um, for all the projects that I'm posting, they will go over to my YouTube channel. Um, this one will be there. I have one from last week I need to, or Thursday I need to put in there. Um, but this will be the last um, video I'll do with this host code. So if you have not used this host code yet and you're gonna order it, be sure to use this one. And uh, we will get something in the mail to you. We appreciate you. Um, and then uh, for those of you who share this video, you also get a little treat in the mail. So I appreciate all of you being here. It means so much. Alrighty. All right. I wish you aloha. <laughs> and I hope that you'll try this project for your for yourself and the guys in your life. Alrighty, guys, have a wonderful um, week ahead. And I will see you again on Thursday evening. All right. Bye.